there's a little bit of scar tissue from those other projects. You know, not to characterize too bluntly, but oversight and accountability and holding to standards, that's going to be an important part of this to be able to convince folks that yeah, I got it and I feel good about it as opposed to the ideas of using substandard materials. I got an extra large here. We decided to get this site visit together to help address some of the public concerns. Earlier this year, there's been a lot of cross-pollination between different projects, and we wanted to provide the facts of our project and the updated designs to what we are proposing for this reef project. We decided to invite the Broad Bay Civic League president, as well as the past president, to help them both be knowledgeable with, on the subject of what our reef is, so that way they can answer questions within their Civic League. We also had Senator DeStef out here. I know he's been getting a lot of comments since we have initially proposed this project. So our, our goal was really to just state the facts and let let them know what we're proposing is a going to be a safe uh, a safe reef. We of course are taking into consideration all the public concerns. So what about some concerns for folks who like to recreate in this area? I mean you're talking about building hard structures in a place people like to water ski and boat and just you know and wrap. What would you say to those folks? All of those activities can still continue um, after the reef is installed. So because we are only building about 12 inches, um, you know, there's still gonna be plenty of clearance above the reef. We have done multiple surveys out in Broad Bay. We of course have taken the tides into consideration to make sure that that 12 inches will be suitable to have enough clearance to safely be able to boat and tube and water ski and all the things again that, that everyone loves to do within this area. It's gonna be completely submerged so it will never be visible um, no matter what the tidal cycle is. We hope to see additional opportunities for recreational crabbing. Folks can place their crab pots in between the stripes. They can anchor up and for anybody who loves recreational fish, um, it's gonna bring in species that prefer that edge habitat. For this project, our non-federal sponsor and our partner is the City of Virginia Beach. They have been extremely supportive throughout all of our planning efforts, helping us make decisions and figure out what would be the best for the city. Citizens, you know, they're gonna be looking at it. Uh, we ended up sticking with the 50-foot wide reef stripes, spaced 100 feet apart, um, but made them linear so they're parallel to the tidal flow to accommodate the, the recreation and the, the fishing aspect. Um, and then another big thing that we changed was instead of crushed concrete, we changed our uh, base material to six inches of uh, crushed stone that uh, ranges between two to four inches.